To demonstrate how manager overrides are used to discount items, first log in as a server using the pin pad at a POS terminal. Start an order by selecting a table from the table layout screen. In this example, the antipasta plate is selected as the menu item for the order, and then done is selected at the bottom left of the modifier screen as no changes are required. To discount this item, tap to select the top of the left panel to reveal the ticket commands window, and then select the add discount button or select the item itself to reveal the item commands window and then select the add discount button. Using the add discount button in ticket commands adds the discount to the entire order, while using the add discount button in the item commands window adds the discount only to the item selected. Once add discount is selected, the type of discount must be selected from the type shown. Selecting the employee discount causes a pop-up window to appear, where a manager pin code must be entered to allow the discount. Once approved, the discount is shown in the left panel under the item the discount is applied to. To remove the discount, select the discount, and the discount commands window will appear where the discount notes can be edited or the discount can be removed. Selecting remove requires the manager pin once again. While logged in as a server, you may need to remove an item from an order in progress. If an item in an order still has the green dot, meaning it has not been sent to the kitchen for preparation, then the item can simply be removed by selecting the item, and then selecting the remove button from the item's command window. However, if an item, in our example fries, has been quick sent or sent to the kitchen, then there will be no green dot. To remove or void this item, select the item, and then select void from the item's command window. Next, select the reason for the void from the choices provided. Once the reason has been selected, a manager override pin is required to approve the void. To utilize manager functions from the restaurant POS terminal, a manager must log in with their pin code. Once logged in, select the show commands button in the lower left side of the screen to reveal all the commands available to a manager. All staff can view the 86 items list, but only a manager can 86 items and modifiers. To 86 an item or a modifier, start by selecting the 86 items and modifiers. In the box at the very top of the screen, type in a word to search for the item and modifiers containing the word. In this example, pepper is the word. There are two menu items associated with the word pepper, pepperoni pizza and peppermint schnapps. The modifier items available that are associated with the word pepper are pepper jack, peppercini, pepperoni, roasted red pepper, and roasted red peppers. Selecting a menu item will cause it to be grayed out and 86. Selecting it a second time will remove the 86 and make that item available once again. Selecting any of the modifier items such as Peppercini will cause a pop-up window to appear allowing the modifier to be 86 on any or all of the menu items it is associated with. Selecting one modifier group will change the tag color from green to red, indicating that the item has been 86 from the modifier group. Select done when you are finished. Looking at the modifier groups, the color tag for Peppercini has changed from green, available in all modifier groups, to blue, available in a few modifier groups. Select done when you are finished and ready to return to the table layout. At the table layout, select the menu button at the bottom right side of the screen. This will bring up the menu screen. From the menu screen, select and hold on a menu item, such as grilled cheese for example. A pop-up window will allow access to the menu item information, nutrition facts, 86 item, or edit item. Selecting 86 item will cause the item on the menu to be grayed out and unavailable. Selecting and holding the item again will present the pop-up menu where the item can be edited by selecting the edit item button. An edit menu item window will be presented where the item's name and price can be edited. In addition, the item can be set to an out of stock status or be set to use the quantity on hand which can also be updated here. In our example, the use quantity on hand is selected and the remaining quantity on hand is five. Select close when finished editing the item. Returning to the menu screen upon reviewing the grilled cheese menu item, there is a number five in the lower right corner of the menu button which indicates there are five grilled cheese sandwiches left for guests to order. Every time a grilled cheese is ordered from this point forward will cause that available number to decrease by the number of grilled cheese sandwiches ordered. Once that available number reaches zero, the item will automatically be grayed out and unavailable. To verify that servers are closing out all of their orders at the end of their shifts, select the Show Commands button in the lower left corner. When the Select Command window appears, select the Closeouts button and a closeout screen will appear showing all of the active users. 
Selecting them one by one, their closeout reports can be viewed. Select Done when finished. Alternatively, selecting Show Commands and then selecting the End of Day button. The End of Day screen will appear showing the daily sales totals, all orders that are still open, the remaining clocked in employees, as well as any closeout reports that need to be run. Selecting the Closeouts button at the bottom left side of the screen will cause the Closeout screen to appear once again with all the employees that were working that day. However, this time there will be a green banner at the top of the screen indicating that you are working on end of day. Click here to continue. Selecting an employee will show their closeout report with their open orders, their cash reconciliation status, their payment summary, their discount summary, their paid in slash out summary, their surcharge summary, their group sales summary, their point of sale details with voids, averages, and totals, their gift card summary for gift cards sold or used, and a final payment detail. Selecting that green banner at the top of the screen will return the user to the end of day screen. To view the end of day report, select the blue report button at the top left corner of the end of day screen. The end of day report looks very similar to the server closeout report, but contains all of the day's data from all the individual closeout reports for the entire restaurant. The end of day report is set to run automatically at the close of business every night. To make sure this report runs successfully, return to the summary of end of day by selecting the blue summary button at the top left of the end of day screen. Make sure there are no remaining open orders, that all employees have clocked out, and that all closeout reports have been run. Upon verifying this, the system can be closed down for the night. To leave the end of day screen, select cancel in the lower right corner of the screen. If an employee's hours need adjusting, select a clocked in employee from the end of day screen. The adjust time clock screen will be presented where clock in times and clock out times can be adjusted for every employee. To exit this view, select the green banner at the top of the screen. Selecting cancel in the bottom right corner of the end of day screen presents the menu screen. Selecting show commands at the bottom left corner of the menu screen presents the show commands screen. Selecting the command adjust time clock will display the adjust time clock screen where all of the employees who have clocked in that day are shown. Selecting an employee such as Lila Jackson will display all her clock in and clock out times during the day. If the first clock in was incorrect, it can be selected and then edited via a pop-up window. Select done in the lower right corner when finished. From the menu screen, select the list orders button in the lower right corner of the screen. Then select remove unsent items from the active order pop-up window. In the right hand panel, make sure the order status closed is checked to reveal all the closed orders for the day. Select a closed order to reopen and then open ticket commands by selecting the top of the left side panel. From the ticket commands window, select reopen. Notice that any cash payments that were previously applied will be removed. If there is a credit card payment, select the payment and remove it when prompted. Additional order items can now be added to this order. Once the orders are complete, all payments will need to be re-entered to close out this ticket.